Hello. Um, well, almost two years ago this week, I decided I needed a vacation. I was very burnt out, and I wanted to get away, really get away. So one of my friends had told me they'd been to Europe and been to this place called Mallorca. So I thought, wow, an island off the coast of Spain, how about that? So I went on Expedia, and to my surprise, well, it wasn't cheap, but it was doable. The only catch was I would have to take three flights. And interestingly enough, they had something called half board, which was a cheaper rate for a solo traveler, which I've never seen before. So I fly to Heathrow, Heathrow to Nice, and Nice to Mallorca. Now, I had to make a Usain Bolt in Nice. I barely got out of the plane, ran before they closed the door, and my luggage was late. But hey, what can I say? I was in Mallorca. So I end up at this nice little hotel right across the beach. I could just walk out there. I'm really burnt out, and I decide I need to get some dinner. So what, they have like a buffet in the dining room, and I get the bill, and I look, and it's one euro. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> this is like great. You know, what's with this half board stuff? Well, I found out by accident the next day that my room actually came with dinner, and breakfast buffet, so I didn't have to spend any money on food. <laughs> so I go down to the beach the next morning, and my feet are really sensitive. I hate stepping on rocks. I hate the algae. I didn't know what the beach is like. So I have my Walmart water shoes. <laughs> and I put them on, and I walk down, and everybody's staring at me. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? And then I thought, OK, I am the only person on this beach with water shoes, even Walmart water shoes, and probably the only person on this entire island. So the next day, I sucked it up and left the water shoes in my room. Now, the other thing is, I realized pretty quickly that not only was I the only American there, everybody was German but me, and nobody was <laughs> speaking Spanish. It was all German. And apparently this whole beach and whole area was Germans. But then the next night, I'm sitting on the promenade. This guy comes and sits next to me and says hello. And he says his name is Bruno. Now, Bruno said he was from Paris. But Bruno looked like he was from India. <laughs> and apparently his mother was from India, his father was French, or vice versa. But he quickly explained to me that each beach had a different population. There was a beach for Brits, there was a beach for Scandinavians, and voila, here we are on the German beach. <laughs> and I just had no idea when I booked this trip. And now Bruno really couldn't speak much English. And although I'd been to France several times, my skills were limited to ordering off the menu, the petit déjeuner, I'll have the floating island please, or the profiteroles. But somehow we managed to get along. He gave me a great tour of the town. I found out you know, that he's an engineer and he travels the world and we still are in touch now. He's actually in Yellowstone now for the eclipse event he was just at. And I just was so surprised to be in this German world <laughs> in Spain <laughs> when I was planning to go to Spain. <laughs> but it was a just, great experience and of course you know the Germans they have a lot of rules they're very uptight no offense but when they go on vacation they party and they were carrying around these buckets with these like neon straws and they were sucking them and wobbling around and I guess they were puking later but uh, it was really really interesting and we went to these bars and they were climbing on the table and sucking down the beer but um, Mallorca was just a beautiful place and even though I was on the German beach, which I think was a precursor to the German boyfriend I had when I got home, it was a great experience for me.